Good morning, plumbers. 20 of 8. It's a little dark out this morning. Good morning, good morning, everyone. As you know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And for today's adventure, CB2 is meeting me at the job. This is a continuation of a cloud kitchen drain, cracked sewer line discovery. And what we're going to do now is go underneath, cut it out, repair, and replace a section of bed pipe, all while cutting out a kitchen drain line and making a proper connection so it does a clog. We'll see when we get there. If you haven't subscribed, please consider please consider subscribing. This way you're up to date on all vids. You can get notifications. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified that we put out a new vid. We truly appreciate it. And look who's parked down at the end of the street. CB2 beat me to the job today. This is rare. I'm thinking he just slept in the truck. CB2 is walking up with his cell phone. Here he comes out. We smiling at. And what's so funny already is, how'd you beat me here today? What do you mean? Just like every other day. <laughs> Alright folks. We got a bad cast line. There she goes. Boom. There it is. And I'm just going to go. We're going to cut out the 4x2 cast Y also and tie ABS straight to the sewer, eliminating that piece of 2 inch cast there. Tough spot, all while repairing the sewer leak over there. And I'll get a better shot when I get over there. I gotta cut some pipe out of the way just to get through, so I might as well cut this two inch out of the way. All right, CB. What's happening here? Oh, let me check something first here. Hold on. All right, so this is all dead, man. <coughs> all right, saws all. Give me saws all. CB is going to be ground support outside the hole because I'm not going in and out of this hole here, that's for damn sure. Tight quarters and I'm already hot. Give me a sawzall blade. I might not even need the grinder because I'm going to cut this with a sawzall chop. This is just to make room to get by. Which we gotta take this out anyway, but it's all good. All right, here's our two inch Y that we're taking out. Our kitchen line is tied into this. It used to be a duplex, it's a double Y. This line over here on the right is discontinued. So what we're gonna do, we're taking out the four by two Y. My plan is to cut it right here on the straight long sweep to a good piece of pipe downstream and putting a 4x2 ABS Y in the middle to pick up the kitchen drain. That is our plan. I want to show everybody why I'm not changing this T up here. Uh, as you see we have a lead bend and looks to me as has a little, it already has a little drip on it. Oh boy. Chucky? Yeah. Oh man that's crazy. It's, it's got a small drip. It looks to me, every time we touch something, we find something else. One of them deals. Do 
Diablo thick metal cutting, carbide tipped. The bomb. Pull this out, see me. This is why I'm eliminating the two inch cast iron Y. As you see, she's closing up like an artery. All right, Chucky. Yeah. When you pull that out, go upstairs and flush the toilet for me. I want to see how bad this drip is on the lead bend. Is it all going to splash on you right there? No, no. I'm going to cover this hole. Okay. It's going to leak on the cast, but that's not bad. It's only dripping. I want to see how bad this is up here. Make a nice little pile of scrap out there. Yep. All right, as you see, we discovered another problem here. We have a lead bend that is seeping. I didn't even notice this yesterday. So, this, this is going to be a pass challenge. I can tell you right now, they ain't going for no new bathroom upstairs. Oh, there's a drip. Let's cover the hole. Here comes the flush. Let her rip. Here comes the flush. Alright, so we got a small seep. He can't he can't hear me. Run the sink and the tub. Run the sink in the tub. Yeah. Little drip there. I'm not worried about that. I want to see where this this drip up here is coming from. Now, you plumbers out there, you see what we got here. What would you do with this little bit of leak on this? Oh, there it is. Looks to me like there's a little seep. Oh, what the? What the kitchen? Come on! What? I didn't say run the kitchen. Jesus! Go to the shop and get me another tarp. Now, I don't know about you apprentices out there, but I'm pissed off right now. He knew we cut the drain line and opened it up by mistake. We all make mistakes, but come on, man. All right, there goes our tarp. CB2 went to get the other tarp. I'm going to open this one up. Shit happens on a job. This this is becoming a... I can go south, and that's... Kind of what's fucking happening here right now. I'm a little activated right now. All right. I'm going to have a cut by the time my shop's 10 minutes away. I knew I should have brought the other car, but I didn't. Here we are. Here we are, folks. Get All right. I still love plumbing though, as you see. We got tight quarters, a little wet now. Let's just get it done. Alright, now. Now, now! What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it right here. Clean piece of pipe of the seam. 
I'm sure it's cracked all the way down from hub to hub. So I need to support this here because I don't want this end piece which has a little bit of weight. As you see, it's under a block. I don't want this moving and making that lead leak any more than it is. A little change of plans. I'm gonna cut this in first. It shouldn't move. I'm gonna cut it right here first. That's the way. cutting through if it starts to pinch I know it's losing some it's starting to drop a little bit so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go real slow and then if it starts to pinch I'm gonna have to stop and brace this elbow but it shouldn't go to work we got two floors here and plenty of tees up top so and it's all in cement up top here so we'll see what happens <laughs> I gotta go on the other side. Of course I do. Right? Of course I do. Testing my plumbing love. It's testing it. But guess what? I still love it. I love it. There we go. Now the weight's going to drop and it's not going to affect nothing here. And we're hung up nicely nice with a hanger right here. We're gold.
Oh boy. That just dropped and we just lost our tub track. Alright. Dang, it's in there too. What the fudge? Alright. Oh, yeah. Couple things are happening here, CB. I saw that happen. You saw that happen? All right, listen to me. Lay out that tarp, two foot wide, two or three foot wide. We're gonna shoot it right down here. This is the side I'm working from now. So. Things are going bad here. Well, I'll be happy if we just lost the tub trap. The, uh, the copper trap over there dropped, which we all know is only a very thin thread into the drum trap. And again, I ask you, under the most crucial circumstances, if I was to patch that lead, what is the best thing to do? I mean, we have a minuscule drip. I'm thinking epoxy. I like epoxy. And it's all underneath and exposed, so it's gonna be the ticket right there, I think. Hey, make it out, CB. CB wet me today. This is a, isn't a bad job. <laughs> Consider the circumstances. You know, what's this? JBS. Six inches long. Okay. Hand me the four. I got the. You put the Franco on it. Did you? I'll do it all in here. Okay. All right. So I'll glue it up. I got all the glue shit here. All right. As you guys can see, the cast iron is in good shape. Nice and thick on both sides. Shot the shots in the sewer. That's coming off the sweep. You see it, it's nice. The only thing I can say about the sewer break is that there's no sewer fly, so it must not be that old and or just happened and or it's cold out. Do sewer fly, here's, here's a going for you plumbers. Do sewer flies flourish in the winter? So many questions we have as plumbers. Looking for this. This. Big oil. Hey, Chuck. Yeah. Hand my level, too, all right? Huh? My six inch level. The torpedo. All right. Toss me the Franco, the 4x3 Y, and there's too much bushing in it. Make sure you. Franco, baby. All right. Level. Six inch piece. Six inch piece. Three by two bushing. Is it in there? No. Yes, it is. No. Oh, there it is. Under the bag. Make sure I get it. Come on. Oh. All right. So you want to be a plumber. How fun was the dad getting all wet? So bad. <laughs> I drop a couple of F-bombs on you? <laughs> I just heard, go get another, go get another right. tarp and I left. There we go. Bushings in. We're going to pick up the kitchen sink right into the 4x3Y. Mm -hmm. and that's going to be the ticket there and we'll tie the kitchen line back in and then one measurement to the other end of the sewer line and that's going to be done. Oh, we do. We better, huh? 
what piece did you cut that off of? Short sword. Good. Oh, oh yeah. No. I didn't bring that long piece of four inch because I figured I didn't need it. We're coming to you live from Atlantic City. <laughs> All right, there it is. Maga wanted to shout out today. Maga, Maga, are you still drinking from New Year's Eve? Huh? Is he Chuck? Maga's old. He's not much of a drinker anymore. Nah. All right, that's good. I want you to join him. Yeah, that's what I said. Six. All right, let's get a measurement. Uh, all right, Chucky. I need a piece. Oh, baby. Uh, call it 41. 41? Yep. Right, so we've got one more piece. Glue it in. As a matter of fact, let me make sure my the correct pitch over here on this joker. Pitch. I think I should turn a little bit more. I know it should be turned up above the bell, but it, she's vented. You plumbers, you apprentices know that that if you don't have a vent or if it's a, a dry vent, here's a here's a technical question, plumbers out there. And again, where's my little five? The plumbing apprentice lesson today on scene of something crazy is this. Let's pretend that this is a vent only. If this is a vent only, which means there's not getting no water to wash it out, that means the center of this pipe would have to be above the center of the sewer line it's connected to. So in case this backs up, it still has room to vent. This isn't the case. We're, we're on a vented kitchen drain line. CB came with it. The cut and the fur go in one piece. He's learning, people. He's learning. He's learning. All right, CB. Long side. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. I like that. I just noticed from looking at the 45 that <laughs> I left the hair in there. <laughs> See me, I left the hair in the, in the sweep. Which isn't a big deal, but for us fussy pots, like my man Lee, hey Lee, my man Lee from California. He's been getting on me, Chuck. There it is, Lee. I got the hair out. <laughs> Lee would have picked up on that. <laughs> Lee? Huh? Lee? Lee. <laughs> Lee. He likes, to, he likes to ride me. He ain't scared. So what I gotta do now, Chuck, I gotta put this clamp all the way on here, all the way. And then work it in, yeah. So, let me make sure she's all loosey goosey. Man, I'm pissed we broke this tub line, man. We've been out of here. Huh? What time is it, do you know? All right. All right, good. 
What? Yeah. Load up on a two-inch stuff while I do this. Come on now. Gotta loosen it more. Loosen it more. match right here. Plenty of glue. And for you plumbers that always ask, I, I work with ABS. I like it. I wonder why you need this. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, Daddy. Be good to Daddy. Uh, we're gonna need an ABS coupling, and yes, we're gonna need a two-inch Franco. I forgot. Oh no, no, Chuck. We're going right in ABS. ABS to ABS. So now we need glue. I cut out that Y. Oh, that's that's a special fitting. It's going to be inch and a half copper by... Yeah. That's going to be after this is complete. I am going to need uh, another hanger. The black one, yeah. I need one of them. And yeah, let's see how this pitch looks. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I can't believe it has pitch, and it does. I secure this right here so we don't have no saggy waggy. I know a lot of people don't like the Francos, but we're going to throw a hanger right here. Chucky, my plan is this, fix this pipe here. If I get this in one pipe, one straight pipe, it's gonna be a miracle. We're gonna try it. It's gonna be a real miracle. I didn't even plan this. Give me a piece 54. Two inch and an ABS coupling. All right, you plumbers out there, and you helpers especially. Now, I told CB too, and I know I got them pushing pretty good, but as an outside helper, I need a two inch coupling. I don't know. I knew I was going to need it here, so I told him that. But we don't have it, so now he's looking for it. But when we're talking, plumbers and you helpers, you got to listen. And I'm sure he got distracted by another order I gave, which I give many orders spontaneously. And let's hope the glue's not spilling in my bucket, which it's not. Don't spill the glue in <laughs> the container. So, the boy's learning. A what? Slip coupling? What do you mean slip? Oh, it is a slip. Wow. Yeah, it's going to have to do. <clears throat> That's all we got? Yeah. <laughs> if I would have asked one, I probably could have purchased one. I don't know where I got that. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Fifty up, uh, fifty-four, I believe. Hold on. Toss me that coupling. I should have cut first. That's all right. Oh, I know what else I forgot to tell you. Nah, that's all right. I don't worry about it. All right, yeah, give me the coupling. Fifty-four. Fifty-four is a match. 
<laughs> oh, that's, that's, it's a stop. Yeah. I'm not going to glue this yet in case we got to do some. Oh, guess what? It is a slip. Hmm. All right. So I got to mark this pipe. We definitely don't want to mess this up. Right to the T. That's where we want to bring it. Right to the T. I don't know if you guys can even see this over here. We're gonna go with the dryer on. Chucky. Yeah. Is it your birthday today? It may as well be because we just got super lucky. That's fine. That's fine. The connection down there, one straight piece. Did you wet me today? Oh, uh, it's all hung up. That was my knee. Oh, Jesus Christmas. I just covered up my tea. So, here's what I gotta do. Oh. Full bubble. Full bubble. Uh, how many more hangers we got like that? Two inch one, Chucky? The, the, one the black one, one, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna need one right here. Listen, grab that and I can and I can pull out of this side. Alright? Sounds good. And then we I'll come out and have a coffee or whatever. Bring my other pair of sweatpants in here, please, because I'm soaking wet. I should have wore a Tyvek suit. Who doesn't like zip hangers? They're beautiful. Uh, Chucky Day. There's my nail. Boom. Sweatpants. Uh, that's what I'm coming out right now. Here, grab this tools. I'm really curious how this works. I hope it didn't tear any tear anymore. I guess it did. Alright. Oh. I don't need to tell I don't need a spoon. All right, here's what we got going on. I just gave CB the bad news that the lead bends leaking a little worse than it was. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with the epoxy trick and talk to the owner. This is gonna turn into a gut. You gotta say it for yourself. You like the joke, the city joke today? The city joke, what about? Keep saying that. City, what's city joke? Every, every time you do something, you say, 
It's Patch City. It's oh. something city. It's like your fourth. Like Sub City. Keep saying. Yeah. Dirt City. He's gonna run the kitchen sink now. Here's a recap of what we did. Took out the old cast by two, four by two cast Y. New four by two ABS Y installed. Took out a section of bad cast iron. Tied it in into a good piece of cast. In the meantime, and I'm going to tell the owner that the tile floor has got to come up. Perhaps we're going to give it the epoxy on the bottom because that's where it's leaking at. I can see it from here. And just try and buy them some time here. And again, you know what the issue is? It's always the dollar.